This is big breaking emergency news. We are now seeing a major release happening right now. All right, I'm experiencing this myself. My family is. This is affecting our pets. All right, this major release is happening and potential side effects of this are not being able to eat the food you normally eat. Things like meat, things like dairy, things like cheese. You could become sick from eating these things from this release that's happening right now, right? So this is big. This is affecting us personally. This is why I wanted to make this video. And this could be affecting you too. I want to know what you guys think is going on right now and if you've been seeing the same thing happen to you as well. All right, so let's dive into the details here really quick. Please hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'm posting multiple videos a day keeping you guys updated on this big urgent news right so you can see here guys this is what's happening to me right now in my family and it seems like there's been a major release and they actually said they've been releasing gmo ticks just recently we will get into that in just a second but you can see here this is what's been showing up on me and my family constantly this is the lone star tick do you see how it has the white dot on it this is a picture of my arm the other night i went outside for 30 seconds and i had this tick on me it's been constant every single day we've had ticks on us they've been on our dog they've been constant i've never had this many ticks on me in my entire life cumulatively the past month the amount of ticks it's been every single day some days multiple times and this tick they've been releasing gmo ticks into the wild and these ticks their bite they can make you sick and allergic to red meat all right check this out and they've actually been warning people they're saying that it's spreading to multiple different states look at this iowa and minnesota see uptick in uncommon tick-borne diseases this was just put out last month all right they're warning that this alpha gall syndrome is spreading all right check this out too this was just last month as well local woman contracts tick-borne disease called alpha gall syndrome all right so this is spreading across the country and i wanted to get this warning out let me know have you seen these ticks have you seen an uptick in these ticks all right because they're crazy where we're at listen to this really quick and they're also releasing gmo ticks look at this really quick right you can see here it says that oxitec in may 2023 they received 4.8 million dollars from the bill and melinda gates foundation to develop a quote friendly solution for the asian blue tick all right and this is considered the world's most damaging blood feeding cattle pest all right so they're gmoing the ticks to not want to eat cattle blood and now there's ticks all over the place that make you sick when you eat red meat what is going on what is happening right now this i'm not saying these are connected but this is very strange and very concerning that this is going on and you can see here it says it's a serious food allergy that's caused by delayed onset of symptoms after eating red meat or other mammalian products and they're saying that's caused by this immunoglobulin antibodies against sugar right so there's this alpha gal sugar that is in meat okay and your body normally can process this and digest this but when the tick bites you your body now thinks that it needs to attack this tick bite right so it trains your body to and the ticks have the same exact protein so it trains your body to attack this protein that's in meat right because it thinks that a tick's biting you again and i woke up with a tick attached to my arm the other day all right and i checked we've been checking every single day for ticks and i checked right before 
bed and I still woke up with a tick attached to my arm and it's been and it has a little spot there's a little hole in my arm where this tick was sucked onto my arm all night right this stuff's spreading and it's everywhere and all these ticks we've been seeing are these lone star ticks I've never seen this many ticks and I've never seen this many lone star ticks as well listen to this they're saying that this is spreading in Iowa and Minnesota too and they're saying it's normally not there Ticks are starting to pop back up with warmer temperatures, but health experts say there is another tick-borne disease rising in numbers that could impact your diet. Our Eric Min joins us live from Northwest Rochester. Eric, tell us more about the disease and the tick that causes it. Caitlin, health experts say alpha-gal syndrome makes you become allergic to organ meat, red meat such as beef, lamb and pork, and mammal products. The tick that causes this specific disease is called the li the Lone Star Tick, and it is not so common in Iowa or Minnesota, but experts say that is beginning to change. It definitely happens in Minnesota, but um, I don't think it's nearly as common here as it is in other parts of the country. Data from AlphaGal information suggests AlphaGal syndrome is most prevalent in Central and Eastern United States. But according to Des Moines University, numbers are increasing in Southern Iowa and they're working their way up to Northern Iowa and even into Southern Minnesota. Although there's some information about the number of cases, more data is still needed about this disease. One of the things we don't know is kind of the whole story for those patients. So are those patients that travel a lot? So maybe they've traveled to parts of the country that have more of these ticks. Have they, you know, are they just really outdoorsy people? So they have lots and lots of exposures or, you know, there's just a lot of questions we don't know. Mayo Clinic's Dr. Sydney Anderson says the disease impact varies from different people, with some only feeling temporary effects to others having lifelong problems. She says a factor that comes into play is how many times you were bitten by the Lone Star tick or ticks. The protein that the tick releases is similar to that of red meat. And so the body can get confused. And so it thinks that it could be the tick. And so it causes a reaction, um, which happens when people eat meat. Susie Elo from Broadway Veterinary Hospital says the tick is not as dangerous to our pets as us, especially cats who groom themselves. However, she recommends everyone take preventative measures. Just make sure that you're, you know, for yourself, you're putting on, you know, prevention. They have the sprays, they have the wristbands, they have the, you know, fans that you can attach to yourself if you don't want to put sprays on. So make sure you're doing that for yourself and then make sure you have your dogs on prevention so that they aren't coming in with those diseases. All right, so you heard that there. This could even affect your dogs potentially. All right, they're saying there's a lower risk for animals, but I've seen these things all over my dog. Just last night, I got one off of her ear and one off of her belly. Been checking her every single night for these ticks, and they've been insane. And the grass is short, the sun's out, it hasn't really been raining or anything. This is insane. Right? There's been a major uptick, and I'm down the south. I know that there's ticks down here, but I've never seen this many in my life, and I've lived down here my whole life. Right, So something's potentially going on. Right, And this is dangerous because it could make you extremely sick. You could not even know you have this, and you could be getting sick for a while and not even realize it. And this is what they look like. They have this little dot right on their back right you can see that little dot it's very obvious and they will get you quick and they will start sucking your blood quick right they've been all over us constantly they've been on the kids multiple times they've been on my wife been on me constantly been on the dog be on the lookout for these things right i'm actively monitoring the situation make sure nobody's gonna get sick from this or the dog's getting sick or anything she's she's it's hard to find every little one on a dog sometimes they're in the fur right i found a couple in the fur and sometimes they're a little big they're a little juicy right it's hard to be gross but it's concerning this has happened a few times and i'm worried potentially my dog could get this and my kids got a bite that's itching him. He's itching it like crazy. My arm right here. All right, I have a bite right here in my arm 
that I woke up with. And it's itching. It's always itching. It's itching all day. I've been putting iodine on it and cleaning it really good. But who knows? I don't know. That sucker was on me all night while I was sleeping. I didn't even realize. Maybe even before. Right? I don't know. I didn't see it, but... There's also things like Lyme disease as well. Even if you don't get this alpha-gal syndrome, Lyme disease is devastating. Completely devastating for people. Can ruin your life. Can just make you feel terrible all the time. Really suck your life away. Suck your energy away. Suck your quality of life out. And that's another thing. Lyme disease. Right, this can happen too. And they're saying that this alpha gal syndrome, it's based on how many times you got bit by the tick. So I'm not sure. I'm not a scientist, doctor, anything like that. I'm just a guy that's this is my arm. Like this is literally my arm with a tick on it. Right? Middle of the night, I went outside for 30 seconds and I got this tick on me. Alright, so I don't know exactly how all this stuff works, but they said that. The more times you get bit, the more likely you're likely to be exposed to this. And I don't know how long they have to be on for because the thing with Lyme disease is that if they're not on for whatever, as long as you catch it in the first 24, 48 hours, then you're probably fine. It's most likely not going to transmit. Let me know down below if you guys have any of these conditions or if you've dealt with any of this stuff. Um, I don't know anyone personally that has this, right? But I've seen people online i've looked into it that people that document it and it seems devastating for a lot of people and it has to stay on for 24 to 48 hours 72 hours something like that it has to stay on for a while for lyme disease to transfer that's what i read at least that's what people say i don't know if that's 100 percent true but for this i don't know if they need to be on for a long time i don't know if they just need to bite you and get that protein inside of you and then your body creates this reaction to the protein and it's almost like training your body to think that red meat protein is a some kind of problem some kind of defense that your body needs to trigger whenever red meat protein is exposed that's what these ticks are doing they're training your your uh, immune system so every time you get bit that red meat protein is released the alpha gal protein and your body creates a immune response to it immune response right and then when you eat it your body creates the same immune response and it overwhelms you it creates this autoimmune disorder almost right this is insane that this is happening and what how are all these diseases all this stuff they're just popping up they're just popping up out of nowhere just coming up out of nowhere Right? It's very suspicious, very strange. And then at the same time, think about these ticks. They're being genetically modified, so they don't want to eat red meat. They're GMO ticks that they're modifying so they get sick when they eat cow blood. And when they eat red meat, the ticks get sick. And now we're seeing, and these are different types of ticks. This is the Asian blue tick, right? And this is the Lone Star tick that is this thing is crazy we've seen at least like 50 of these the past month that we've seen on us and our dogs and our kids it's been constant and they're saying that this affects even things like dairy right check this out it says yes some people with alpha gal syndrome have an allergic reaction to dairy products Alpha gal is a sugar found in mammalian meat and products made from mammals such as milk, butter, and gelatin. And AGS is caused by the Lone Star Tick in the U.S. Right? So they're even saying that dairy, milk, butter, gelatin could all be affected by this as well. This is insane. And then think of all the other stuff going on with the cattle industry as well. If you guys saw my video yesterday, these, this federal order was just signed. And that's putting major restrictions on our food supply, on the cattle industry, uh, chickens, all this stuff. Because they're worried about this bird thing that's spreading around, right? You know what I'm talking about? This bird, you know what? The bird thing that's spreading around right now. And 
they just put federal restrictions on this, right? So there's been hit after hit on our cattle industry. And now potentially people are not going to be able to eat meat, eat dairy, all these things from these ticks that are spreading like wildfire, right? This is, I've never seen this many ticks before. Let me know if you guys are seeing them too, right? Because they're biting us and I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of like keeping an eye out for it. I'm not, I'm not panicking or anything, hitting the panic button, all right? Hit it now. Can't eat steak or anything. I'm still eating steak pretty much every single day, right? But that's like one of our main things we eat. So this is very concerning for our family. We love eating steak and red meat. We eat a ton of chicken too, right? And eggs. But red meat is one of the main components for our diet. And we're watching this, all right? So please hit it up for me down there, guys. It helps to get this warning out. I appreciate that. I hope you guys are getting prepared, getting ready, staying safe, getting your home set, ready to go, right? It's pretty hot down here, right? It's scorching down the south, but for most of the country, this is go time. This is go time, all right? We try to do a lot of our stuff in the shoulder seasons, kind of in fall, winter, spring. That's when we're growing a lot of our stuff. We still have some stuff going, but right now it's honestly too hot to grow a lot of the crops we want. They're bolting, things like lettuce, arugula stuff like that it's just bolting right now it's too hot so make sure you guys are getting prepped and they're doing stuff like this all over the country too check this out it says gene editing breakthrough made in the battle against tick-borne diseases it says as tick-borne diseases rise in prevalence in the u.s and worldwide the university of nevada reno researchers and collaborators make noteworthy discovery right so they're working on GMO ticks for Lyme disease, all this stuff, okay? There's constant manipulation going on. And I'm not saying this is what's causing it, but your genetic manipulation like this is when they use CRISPR technology and they inject ticks with other animals' DNA or bacteria's DNA. So wouldn't this potentially increase the vector potential because now you're having potential cross species um, breakthroughs with this now? Because now the tick has some random DNA from some other animal, like for corn, for example, the BT in corn, GMO corn, when moths eat it, it makes their stomach dissolve and rot out right and that bt is naturally produced by scorpions and scorpion venom okay so the corn has a gene from scorpions to produce this bt pesticide that prevents moths from eating the corn and destroying the corn crops and caterpillars too right so that's how it works they put genes from other species into new animals and new organisms and that's what they're doing with ticks as well and it could potentially be creating some kind of new vectors too not saying it is but maybe all right so thank you guys I hope you have big blessings for your life, your family, and I hope you have a big old blessed day.